Hello World History B students, this is Mr. Goyette with National University Academy. I uh, wanted to review with you uh, some information for your chapter 34 quiz. Uh, this is for unit 6. What I'd like to see you do is take notes uh, using your textbook. So I'm going to be mentioning pages, so please follow along. If you can pause it here, go get your World History Patterns of Interaction textbook, because if you take notes and note the pages as you're going, you'll be able to answer the questions for the quiz and study for the subsequent final as we are in the last few weeks of school. Let's begin uh, by going over the partition of India. and The dividing of India into two nations was referred to as the partition. This is on page 998. In the late 1940s and again in 1972, India and Pakistan fought over Kashmir, an air region called Kashmir. This is on page 999. Make sure you pay attention to that. Very interesting uh, reading right there. Pakistan began as a divided nation in the east and west regions, and were, which were separated by a thousand miles of Indian territory. You can read more about this um, yeah, in a section that is titled Pakistan Copes with Freedom. This is on page 1001. After World War II, the greatest source of U.S.-Filipino conflict was U.S. military bases in the Philippines. This is on page, the first paragraph on page one, 1005. All of the following are true of Burma's Aung San Suu Kyi, except that she was killed by the military government. She was not killed by the military government. She was a daughter of Sat she was a daughter of assassinated leader. She was kept under house arrest, and she was active in the National League for, Demo League for Democracy, and this is on page 1006. French-speaking Africans and West Indians formed a movement to celebrate African culture and heritage and, and, and values. This is uh, discussed on page 1012, and the movement is called Negritude, N E. G-R-I-T-U-D-E. The African push for independence actually began in the decades before World War II. French-speaking Africans and West Indians began to express their growing sense of black consciousness and pride in traditional Africa. They formed the Negritude Movement, a movement to celebrate African culture, heritage, and values. Again, this is on page 1012. The Mao Mao, Papa Mao Mao Mao, I'm sorry, the, the Mao Mao, uh, you want to look under uh, freedom, the fight for, for fighting for freedom on page 1013. You're going to see the, the name Jomo Kenyatta, uh, where Kenya is fighting for its dependence, claims its dependent, independence. And using guerrilla war tactics, the Mao Mao sought to push the white farmers in, into leaving the highlands. Kenyatta claimed to have no connection with the Mau Mau. The Mau Mau was a secret society that wanted to liberate Kenya from British rule. Again on page 1013. In 1956, uh, the, 19, the 1956 Suez crisis began when Egypt seized control of the Suez Canal. That's on page 1018. In 1978, the Camp David Accords were signed by Anwar Sadat and Menachem Begin. Let me spell those names for you, and I would like you to write them down. Again, you can review this on page 1020 and write them down by copying, copying them from that page, but I will spell them for you here. Anwar is spelled A-N-W-A-R. Sadat is spelled S-A-D-A-T. Menachem Begin is spelled M-E-N-A-C-H-E-M-B-E-G-I-N. -E -E Looks like begin. Pronounced begin. T uh, page 1020 or 1020. Um, two countries that each had um, wars after their independence. They were granted independence by their colonizing countries or they fought for independence from their colonizing countries. Then they had to fight a civil war thereafter. Pakistan and Angola both had to do this. How were the governments of Ferdinand Marcos and Mobutu Sese Seko similar? They both imposed strict authoritarian regimes. 
Um, the former colony of France uh, was torn apart in the 1990s by a deadly civil war between the government and Islamic militants. This uh, country was Algeria. And for some very interesting writing, both on World War II and the Algerian conflict, and how it um, was a difficult one to mediate, discuss, and come to terms with as, a, as French citizens, you can read this excellent book, which I, I recommend to you, uh, for those of you interested in World War II. It's called Resistance, Rebellion, and Death, and it's uh, Albert Camus, uh, his writings during World War II. Um, he was a, an author, playwright, uh, and the author of Combat, letters against the Vichy government and against the Nazis, uh, that had taken over France. He was part of the French underground trying to get the Nazis out of France. Um, but his letters are excellent uh, for both uh, World War II and the Algerian uh, issues in France. Why did the UN fail in its plan to create a Palestinian state in the late 1940s? The Palestinians objected to receiving only part of the mandate of Palestine. This is on page 1018. On top of the page 1019, which of the following resulted in the creation of an Israel buffer zone? That was the Six-Day War. Uh, the buffer zone uh, was consisting of, or consisted of, or consists of uh, Jerusalem, the Sinai Peninsula, the Golan Heights, and the West Bank. Again, all of this is on page 1019 of your textbook at the top of the page. The Six-Day War is what you want to write down there. Six-Day War. Which of the following might have uh, relocated after the partition of India? Um, now, people that would have relocated after the partition of India would have been Muslims into Pakistan because now they had a state that was not exactly a theocracy per se. Uh, however, the, the, the mullahs and those in the, in the ruling structure of the government were Islamic. Um, so Muslims would move to Pakistan because it was more of a Muslim state than India. Which, uh, let's see, the overthrow of Saqqara was not caused by religious conflicts. One thing you want to look at too uh, with the Sikhs in Sri Lanka, take a look at the Tamil Tigers there on page 1008, second paragraph. Um, the overthrow of Sukarno is also on page 1008. Uh, Singapore defeating uh, Malaya in the war did not contribute to it to its becoming a more powerful state. The things which helped Singapore um, gain a, a higher standard of living were um, it was one of the busiest ports in the world. It was a banking center for that region. And Singapore had an effective ruler, um, Li Yu or Li Kuan Yu. Uh, you can review this uh, on the in the section on uh, Singapore. So after you're gonna have two essay questions or short answer questions. You should write at least two paragraphs. First one: After World War II, why was the conflict between the Israelis, or why was there a, a conflict between Israelis and Palestinians? After World War II, the, uh, the UN decided to partition the pa Palestine into a Palestinian state and a Jewish state. It goes back way before that and even way before that. These are biblical uh, as well as modern conflicts. So um, you know, there's a lot to answer here, but the textbook version of this, this division outraged the Arab states. They objected to the UN and did, did, did not have the right to partition the country without considering the wishes of the majority of the people. The United States and many countries in Europe felt sympathy for the Jews because of the Holocaust. The day after Israel proclaimed itself a state, six Arab states invaded the new country. This war ended within six months. Uh, however, several more wars took place in the following decades. What were some of the effects of the partition in India? I have to wrap up here. Here's your other um, essay topic, though. The partition divided India into two nations, mostly Hindu, India and Muslim Pakistan, the administrations of the courts, the military railways, and the police had to be divided into two countries. For more on that, read the first part of your chapter. Bye now.